Transhumanism is the idea that we will begin to augment ourselves with bodily changes to ourselves with genetic engineering, also cyborg-like um, physical mechanisms injected and compressed into the human body, and all of it together, along with artificial intelligence, coming to something that is transhuman. Today's modern prosthetics are breathing life into Asimov's prediction of transhumanism. There's wonderful work being done with prosthetics, literally connecting chips with nerves so that people can now, through pure volition, just thinking, move their prosthetics and literally regain a body. In 2010, Johns Hopkins University's Applied Physics Laboratory unveiled MPL, the Modular Prosthetic Limb. The MPL is one of the first prosthetic limbs to be controlled by a user's thoughts. The MPL is connected to the brain via neural implanted microarrays with sensitive electrodes that monitor brain signals. When the brain generates signals to move the limb, a wireless transmitter sends these signals to sensors inside the hand, where software converts these signals into robotic movements. To seamlessly integrate the limb into the user's central nervous system, feedback sensors are implanted in the hand. When sensors in the hand detect pressure, force, or temperature, they transmit this information back to the receiver, which activates the neural implants and stimulates the brain, giving MPL users the ability to actually feel their prosthetic limb. There is a future that's going to see that kind of body optimization. And I'm just happy that people who are either born with deficits or acquired them in their lives actually have a future to look forward to where they can regain that function and be a normal part of society. The modular prosthetic limb is a turning point in the convergence between man and robot. I think it's a metaphor for the way life feels to us right now, that between our abilities in healthcare and the internet and everything else, that we're already in the transhuman moment. I believe Asimov thought transhumanism to be not only a good thing, but an inevitability. Asimov takes transhumanism to its logical extreme when the bicentennial man seeks to acquire not just a human body, but full human rights. He created this notion of the sentient robot yearning to be free. The robot who has become so like man that he is more humane than man. The idea of a robot as a chance for transcendence comes from Asimov. How do you treat an intelligent machine that knows it's intelligent, that has feelings, that wants to be taken seriously? It's the notion of citizenship. It's about where we might actually go. Now, this is the age-old Asimov question, which is, where does autonomy begin? Who is the arbiter of autonomy and choice? That's at the heart of Asimov's work, and I think we are still asking those questions.